I'd like to talk today about some typical Nexus creating activities. If your company engages in any of these, I'd recommend looking into your potential exposure and then developing a plan of action to correct the oversight and reduce any potential liability. Now, as a reminder, Nexus in sales tax terms refers to that minimum connection you have with a state where they can force you to collect their tax or be their tax collector to your customers. I want to break this down into two simple categories, obvious Nexus creating activities that probably everyone knows about, and others that are not as obvious but are nonetheless Nexus creating activities. Everyone knows, well, probably, that having buildings or property in a state is a Nexus creating activity. If you own property, if you rent property, rent office space or a warehouse, those are Nexus creating activities. Also, if you hire an employee that's a resident of the state, that creates Nexus. Some people make the distinction, or would like to make the distinction, that, well, this employee only works in customer support. They don't actually sell anything, so clearly we don't have Nexus by that employee. Well, unfortunately, that's faulty thinking. It's very well settled that if you have an employee in the state, you have Nexus in that state. In the category of not so obvious Nexus creating activities, and perhaps what I would call the most surprising Nexus category of all, is the idea that independent sales reps can give you Nexus. This has actually been the subject of two prominent sales and use tax Supreme Court cases. In these cases, independent sales reps that weren't employees of the company, and actually represented multiple companies, gave Nexus to their represented companies. Companies are usually shocked to learn that even just one independent sales rep can provide Nexus. Even though they don't have employees in the state, they might just have manufacturing reps or independent sales reps, somehow this activity gives them Nexus, but it's actually true. Another not so obvious Nexus activity that surprises companies, and it follows the same line of thought as independent sales reps, is the use of independent contractors who act as your agent. For example, subcontractors who do repairs, maintenance, installation, or training on your behalf are engaging in well-settled Nexus creating activities because they are acting as an agent on your behalf. Now at this point, it might seem that just about any activity in a state will give you Nexus, and you wouldn't be alone in that thought. It does seem that way, and states seem to be pushing the envelope further and further every day. Based on the court cases we have, it seems it doesn't take very much at all before a state has enough connection to you that they can force you to be their taxpayer. Just remember, when it comes to sales tax and nexus, it pays to be conservative. If you sell something taxable and you might have nexus, you might be better off just collecting the tax so it doesn't come out of your pocket later.